Foxtrot, this is the wizard. Do you read me, sitting duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly, I'm the wizard, and you're sitting duck. I'll read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got so, to listen up. So, <clears throat> such a weird temperature in my room. Parts, I need you on your toes. So when playing talk, what's your status? Well, I've established my the top half of my body is, like, and really I'm cold. I'm sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. But I have a space heater at my feet. Figure out a way to get up there. And I think if it was any warmer, I would be really uncomfortable in my lower body. This was so good. I haven't stolen anything yet. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She I think that might have still been an actual angry. gold. I didn't update that my gold for Cairo. Mila. Was a reference to the claw gang just a slip of the tongue? Or an intentional clue? Either way. It's our only lead on the missing clockwork parts. I am checking. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express Where's intention my of wiping playlist? out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred feeling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machine. No, that was not a gold. I have a 234. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents. Mafioso, thank for the good luck. Wound up in Hello, CJ. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brain. Happy the early doctor, birthday. And Murray. The Bites, boss. thank for the good luck. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. Oh, oh, that's kind of brutal, Avatar. So 545. Kind of I would not back. be able to do that. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. On Sunday. Even so I guess yesterday. Stolen? Right. Yesterday, I, don't know I had to future, get up at. But I won't let it be a repeat of my past. Seven. I think, and that was pretty awful for me. <laughs> So I did delete all of the gold. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. That are Dimitri, slower with this route. Underworld celebrity, equally at home in high class. The new route. 
and shady back but I did not crimes. do much more than that so he was once a passionate young we're gonna have some inaccuracies with start episodes and stuff because since switching to auto splitter everything's different for me unfortunately the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic so he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces his way of punishing those with bad taste Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumping music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far Also and during EP3 and in 5, the splits will be really scuffed. Where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. During the route reordering. What Dimitri plans the to do with the clockwork job order. part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. Nice, Lukey. These games are pretty great. And I don't know, Power Man, I, I felt after Thanksgiving it was fine to add the Christmas emotes since people had been wanting them for a while. And Rude has had them for... Rude and Chimpy have had them for a while. And I felt it was weird to have the emotes and not... And still say it was too early for the layout. So, just went for it. Record Jump and press the is 448.31 by Hexu. And that's played in Korean, which is where what the language that speedruns are typically played in. I've uploaded the next waypoint into your thief bath imager. Remember. Like the L3 Yikes, that was weird. Your next um, Korean saves five minutes over the version of the game that I'm on, which is the American version played in English. And it saves, Korean saves nine minutes over uh, the European version played in any language. We often reset the game. Uh, to skip Bentley's uh, Bentley's plan cutscenes, like where he goes over the the plan for the jobs, and when you do that, there's a warning that plays for uh, like basically epilepsy warning. And when you play in the American version, uh, with your console set in. German or a number of other languages, uh, it will just not play. So you save time skipping the epilepsy warning. Oh nice, was it, uh, was it the Rickster's video? Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back. Well, it's the NTSC U version, if you want to be technical. Because Korean is also NTSC. Let's get to it.
can't get too technical when explaining it to some people because then you're not really explaining it. In order to get past these lasers, you need to crawl under that table. To do that, get near the table. These flashlight guards are too tough to fight head on. Crawl under the tables to sneak around it. This air vent leads into Dimitri's nightclub. Hit the circle button to crawl inside. In order to shut down those yellow lasers, you'll need to take out that guard. That sneak attack slam move only works on guards who haven't seen you. When you get it, so weird playing this game in English. The sneak attack won't work. Aha, another air vent. Yes, we are playing in English, at least for today. If something really bad happens, and we don't get sub-5 today, then we'll do another day. Yeah, hitting X instead of circle is probably the weirdest part. That generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. It's genius. Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. For those of you who don't know, on the Korean version, you hit circle. That should do it, Sly. Head back to the state uh, and we'll cook up a plan of a Select things, I guess. Select characters and things in the menu. Yeah, no problem, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm glad it helped. I forgot to open my alert, so if I'm missing things, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna open them now. English resets are very fast, though. Like, it's already done. Avatar, thank for the host. So we'll be able to listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought things might go more smoothly with an ear on the inside. Just be careful with the fine art. Take any damage and the paintings ruined. Uh, that's all right. No, I never was one. But you can filter approach. on the site. Well, because the indirect approach is way up there. On speedrun.com, I mean. The records for a long time were in PAL. Mainly because, um, well, Cuber's runs would have been NTSC, but it, they didn't know about health and safety skip. And then Mikkel and Gnist and Remo's runs would have been in PAL. And then... Then they found out about Korean. And that's where it would have... There would have been a difference. The current PAL record is... I don't know the time, but it's Remo's uh, finish Independence Day run from a couple years ago.
Yeah, the reason the reason Sigilds has English golds is because they played on English for so well they played on anything that wasn't Korean for so long. And Korean is such a massive change because it is way faster. It's not like language in um like Sly 4 for example where it's small differences. It's massive and it's everywhere. Small. Keep it smooth, baby. Walk tall. Stand tall. And it's Get also different from Sly 3 because Sly juice. 3 was always the juice. They always smooth. knew that there were language differences in Sly 3. Phonetic. Phonetic Make art. Breathe art. Feel art. Be art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take art. Be art. Got to keep it smooth. Mm, smooth. <clears throat> keep it smooth, baby. Walk tall. Stand tall. Feel funky. Juice. Who's got the juice? Smooth. Did the kinetic. Kinetic aesthetic. Make art. Breathe art. Feel art. This has been Be a really art. bad fall, Dimitri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make art. Be art. Got to keep it. And uh, the reason I'm doing the English version today is because I I got a PB that I'm happy with in Korean, and I generally do English runs after after that. I am doing good trying to stop shivering because it's cold. I need you to make your but I'm otherwise great. Hello, Chimpy. How am I supposed to get past these Hello, Knuti. Thank you for the luck. Break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice Hi, Yaki. to pick up a block of ice. Then press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle button to pick stuff up, and the square button to throw. Got it. You're strong, Murray. Try picking up other stuff in the room. Enemies that are knocked out can be picked up with your stop move. Throw something at that guard. Then jump up there and pick them up with a I am from Minnesota in the US. I haven't stolen anything yet. Relax and this is why I thank you for the good luck.
You don't like the Christmas jammies, Yamada? What's wrong with it? It's moving at like a million miles an hour on my screen. But I think that's a Chatterino problem. Some emotes do that. Okay, Murray. That alarm horn will tip off Dimitri during our hike. I have gone to uni. There um, are three of them out here. I am taking a semester off. To take them out. Check. But it's I'm going back in a little over a month. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stop to pick things up, then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This See you, Rude. Rough. Enjoy your lurk. If I didn't have to turn around, I could have tossed the dynamite. I played for maybe like half an hour yesterday. But before that, I had not played. Or I have not played since my PV. Yo, MPH, thank you for the Prime for 12 months. One year. Thank you so much, MPH. Hold it, Koopa. Constable Mila. Another policewoman hot on my tail. I appreciate you telling me I should stream. I here. That claw gang All that time ago. It feels like Are forever ago now. now. I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the Claw Gang. And you're still here, which is pretty cool. So what? I appreciate it. Takes a thief to catch a thief. Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up, literally. Literally. Don't fall behind. Uh, I did it once, Avatar, before I started streaming. So it was a long time ago. And I remember it was before I started streaming because I rewatched it another time and the audio was horrendous. Like it was way too loud. So I definitely hadn't worried about mic audio yet. Second verse. Same as the first. Sly, we should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Hi, Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant, but I happen to have obtained the key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, we are absolutely going to work well together. Oh yeah, I failed Moonlight Rendezvous in my English PV. Back to the 
forgot about that. I should be all geared up for the field by the time you arrive. I also sound locked in EP5. So hopefully that doesn't happen. There's the power boxes which route to the printing press area. Take care of them. I'll need you to put a splice clip in those spotlights. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel. Nave, thank you for the tier one resub for 13 months. My it. ceiling fan is the broken, trying to fix the wiring while lurking. Good luck. Thank you for the good luck Maybe and for the 13 month resub. That is a big number. This is insane. And this guy had two clumps too. Holy shit. Nice work, now head for the control panel to slow down the fan. This would be good on Korean. <clears throat> Looks like the fans have stopped. Use them to get on top of the main chandelier and insert that splice clip. I'm overriding the spotlight security gun. That should do it. No more security in the printing press room. I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Alright, don't fuck up the menuing, please. I'm going to, but I'm gonna... Try really hard. Okay, good so far. Okay, only messed up a little bit. And I was very, my brain really hurt trying to not do that wrong. Thank you for the good luck. Did it, Misu. Were you doing full game or episode runs?
chum. Let's get to that water tower. Second verse, same as the first. Jump into my arms. I'll toss you up there. Yo, Steel, thank you for the Focus. tier one resub for I think it's at twelve. Water from the plaza. Hold on. The flow of water through a valve, I should press the circle button. Eleven months in a row, twelve total. Thank you so much, Steel. And hello. Hi, Dr. Eggy. Right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. The keys to his repair truck without being seen. Yeah, I heard about the 810 Stealing Voices Avatar. I meant to ask you what happened. EP4 practice, nice. We need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. I'm in position. We're just driving up right now. Get ready to grab the tow harpoon. Move on, pull away. I love even speedrunning. Uh, I started running this game in July of 2020. And this was my first speed game. And I've since um, mainly played this game. But I've also played a lot of Sly 4. Um, a bit of Sly 3 and 1 as well mixed in there. During breaks and stuff. So oh, raccoonas do this. Right early bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen to me, Drew. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us could work something out. We smooth, yeah? Look, see the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can't. No deal. So by its one the clogging, comment I would have on the movement to hack to the light of day. Just is that over the tail feathers and we can what is this with clocks, like the faster bro? movement to hack no to and the EP4 up really does not use. save a lot of time at you all. Think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such Which is part of why, for a long time, I would just go the casual route. Let me shine. Quote unquote casual route. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. When you use stealth side and uh, circle boost the hooks, it doesn't lose a lot at all. I 
haven't stolen anything yet. Take clockwork, fellas, and my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You <laughs> cracker box. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Guess he doesn't probably doesn't say it anywhere on this version. Yeah, Avatar, my my PV came at a great time for um regarding work. Because this was a busy weekend. The static is the game, Another clock not me. Surfaced in India. So the It'll go away at the end of this cutscene. Zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan, a self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta. This is some really bad static too. Selling illegal spices in the black market. Eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He's since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest okay, so acquisition, the Clockwork Wings. The symbol um, of my enemy. We're 51 if behind my Korean PB. silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially Point if eight behind people. community, some of best for English. Although that is a little bit outdated. Rajan believes so it's probably the a few more seconds. Prestige. And um, maybe they will. But they're also bringing me. 49 seconds out of Phobos. That's it. I don't have. I don't really have that many, actually. I did, Misu. I did. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony. Now, Chipotle doesn't really mess with my stomach at all. It just makes me tired. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. That's the biggest thing it does to me. It just makes me tired. Last time I had Taco Bell, it made me feel very sick. Like, not even just stomach sick. It just made me feel like I was dying. I don't even know if that's possible. Don't be sucked. 
a member of the claw gang. I think we're guaranteed at least one more. He owns half the trains in Canada. Because of the pattern we have. Potentially not. That's the Contessa. A high-ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. The one frame clutched it, Poggers. Another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. And that's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house, and we'll start building a game plan. I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Wasn't that only two? You count the one with Rajan. Wow, you just want to complain, don't you? You want the higher number. Good night, Avatar. Thank you for the, the good luck. Is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? The guards have recently taken up positions oh, around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown witch. We were very scarily close before I moved back just a touch. stolen anything yet hello i'm here for
for the dance. <laughs> I don't think so, Mavi. Oh. Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? Uh, no. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. you in without a tuxedo don't beat yourself up Bentley at a party this ritzy there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere try the guest house someone may have overpacked <laughs> Yo, 240. Thanks for the good luck. Okay, Bentley. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Uh, well, I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the rooms? This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. This is Lord Rajan. The party here is in full swing and all visitors are now in the ballroom. Now, when this ball may be on the other side, not all of the guests are. So be on careful, look out for trouble. I don't want any bad press from this event. I don't know how I still got shot there. This is Rajan's room. Stay sharp. He's probably got extra security. you into the ballroom I haven't stolen anything yet Hello, gems. All future aerial operations while on this job. Yeah, it's all covered in missiles and guns and stuff. Now be a team player and take it out with that rusty pre-war turret. Use the left analog stick to aim and hold down the R1 button to fire. But be careful. If you continue firing for too long, your gun will overheat. I do have to wait for it. Please kill the trapper, please, 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 thank you. Correct, Mavi.
Yeah, they bought Turnbuckle, um, in EP2 for a while, and then it got moved to EP3, uh, for the Stealth Slide route, and then it got moved back to EP2 for the Trigger Bomb route. And then now it's even later in EP3 with the Smoke Bomb route. During the heist, you'll need to dance with Carmelita to keep both her and the crowd distracted. The only problem is, she's picky about dance partners, so you'll need to impress her first. Alright, I know just the girl for the job. Constable Any mods? Lina, you look lovely this evening. I'm sorry, do I know you? I used to chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Koopa? You aren't by any chance here to turn yourself in. Old Ironsides would fall out of her dress. As good as that sounds, how about a dance first? Enchanté. Yeah, I mean, it only saves one second, Mavi. So, don't feel that stupid. Try to memorize the steps. It's harder, too. Now your turn. I don't know when it comes to coin route, like the amount of farming and stuff like that, but... It adds the Dimitri fight. Are you using me to get at old iron sides? Yes, I am. Yeah, true. For safety, it is good. Smoke bomb also does save like a second and lower the drawbridge but only if you uh it's kind of complicated because the end of the the last guard is rng there are ways to approach him where you can like get to him wherever he is on his cycle that fellow is but graceful. they're hard and scary well. and i don't well not hard but they're scary so I don't do that. There's also a scenario where I think it saves time and steal a tuxedo. But it's not really reliable to do. Optimally at least. In the second to last room and steal a tuxedo. If you're spotted, and you use Smoke Bomb like while you're exiting the room, the last guard will be like distracted by your Smoke Bomb because he'll like sense it through the wall from when you were spotted. And I'm pretty sure that saves time, but you don't always end up being that spotted Thank you, in that room. Mila. After all, it takes two to tango. Yes, and three is always a crowd. Mila. Your friend here is yeah, it also, answer. yeah, there's also Try potential for more good. stuff. Because the lower the drawbridge thing is pretty new. You. Riley Later started doing and that. Share a dance, miss and never timed it, Fox. but I timed it like a week Come ago. The Fox. And I accept. A couple weeks ago, actually. Wii Sport Resort. I don't know. I definitely have played a Wii Sport game, but I don't know which ones. The coin route you use isn't the end of the world, because, I mean, both of my PVs, since the smoke bomb route, have completely ruined it to the point where it didn't save any time. Bentley, what's your status? I am in position with the RC chopper. All systems are go to neutralize their surface to air both, defenses. Both of my PVs messed up the route to the, the extent heist. where I was actually losing time. 
to the trigger bomb route. That was really good. At least it felt I like it. Anything yet. I don't know what would be good there. In English, but... Felt very good. What do I think about Ohio? I can crawl on that um, the steps and find an alternate route. So, I don't really have much of an opinion about Ohio. I think generally people criticize it. So I've been conditioned by society to feel negatively about Ohio. But uh, Phobos is from there. So, Ohio is good. But only because of Phobos. You sure look spooked. A job well done, Sly. Now comes the hard part. I need you to snatch the headdress jewels worn by It both sucks elements. here. Damn. The jewels are firmly embedded, so keep whacking at them with your cane to knock what loose. Yo, what's up, Adam? I need to make use of the rooftop. I've been good. How are you? Elephant's backs, but it shouldn't be a problem. So we had a timeout redeemed. Mavi redeemed 10 minute timeout. I'm glad they're better than a few days ago, Adam. We save time even with the warp. runs uh well it's less good now but it, it was pretty good
I got you, Mavi. I'll do it. Mods are asleep, apparently. Even though we have Augie and Phobos here, and Gems is lurking. I need to hack both the vault room computers to get control of the electronic winch above the ballroom. So what are me and Sly here for? Second I enter their servers, they'll be on to us. You guys need to work together to keep the thugs off my back. You and me, pal, side by side. The Murray knows no fear. Okay, I'm in. Hacking the level six barrier. <laughs> That was just so dumb. Oh my god. Hesitated. Got Bentley punched. I'm sorry, Bentley. Sorry, Bentley. All right, let's not get Bentley killed here. Going for level three. That would be really sad. If this run just completely fell apart right now. Only tank one hit with this health. Big guy had it covered. Murray, let's hook up the direct feed and get out of here while the coast is clear. Why? You still think you can Why did that not work? It doesn't take an engineer to figure out how Thank to you, blow Batman. bridge. I'll start by placing charges on all of the lower cleats. Once the structure destabilizes, those retainer rings on the upper cleats should pop right off. That should enable me to bomb all of the upper cleats. 
which will bring it all crashing down. No, Bentley died. He's gonna, he's gonna need that brain of yours in one fully piece. die after the cutscene. Just the uh, the English run curse. There's another. Okay, well that that was not planned, but that worked. Okay. And EP2 here. What? The bridge is destroyed. Get all the manpower you need and look into it. No, it was not intended. Uh, what's supposed to happen is, um, so when you enter that job trigger, there's like a second long, maybe a little less than a second period where the game is loading the job, and you're supposed to die during that. Like Spots, time, a dance. and then it reloads during the cutscene, which skips the cutscene. And I don't know what I did wrong exactly, but I didn't die before or during the cutscene. I died after. I died before, but. His animation hadn't fully ended, so it just continued after the cutscene. You look familiar to me. Are you in law enforcement? I often deal with police while on the job. Yo, Lukey Chukles, thank you for the tier one sub. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the emotes. We have some more coming soon. Stranger, what's your name? Why ruin the moment? Tango lessons? I don't understand. As in me taking what them or giving them? Because I, I don't know how to dance at all. How? Who could have? What? Cooper!
<laughs> I remember in my one of my Spanish classes we learned how to salsa dance, but I don't remember anything from it anymore, other than that we did it. Yeah, in elementary school, my school had a, a dance night where the different grades would do. Would do a dance that they had rehearsed. So during gym, we would rehearse it. I don't really remember liking that. Yeah, I mean it was a long time ago. Nice work, Bentley. I'll take a hidden passage over the front door any day. I was really young. They definitely never made me dance in middle school or high school. stolen anything yet. I don't think it was a yes, me Sue. Able to monitor 
monitor all of our communications out here with that elephant-driven satellite array. It's pretty grim. You got a plan for shutting it down? Don't I always? Now, the local spice plants are illegal for good reason. Eat too many, and you'll go into a fit of uncontrolled rage. Keep that stuff away from Murray. Oh, wait, wait, I get it. I put some spice plants in the elephant's feed bag. He chows down, gets all crazy, and then presto, the satellite's in pieces. A crude interpretation of the plan, but accurate. The trick here is harvesting the spice plants. You'll have to do some serious climbing, as they only grow high up in the jungle canopy. <laughs> Spice plant. I have me, Sue. I hated it. I'm scared of heights. Satellite array. Miss one square boost. Uh, this is my favorite episode. Episode three. That was not my opinion when I played casually. When I played casually, I liked episode six and seven. I haven't stolen anything yet. Yeah, the, bug, Rajan's the best place to look for that bug. is, is definitely at one of the top three. couple runs. That water bug can only Might help to look at Hexu, Jake, and myself, because everybody has different styles and different places where they use like more or less stealth slide. Along the way to Rajan's office. A short swim every now and then should keep our little friend quiet. Yeah, spamming will get you. In most places, you want stealth side to be a lot more mindful.
Uh, bombs cause Bentley to fall quicker. Uh, only in the gadget menu so far, gems. And that is the hardest place to remember. Because it's just all muscle memory. Fuck, I'm actually alive. What? The blueprints! They have been stolen! <laughs> Holy shit, did we avert a disaster there? We'd set up blueprints. Great field work, Bentley. You're really getting the hang of this. I don't know how we still had a guard there. I thought I saw a guard spawn on the bridge. John's holed up in his temple. Got any ideas to force him out of hiding? My research indicates that tigers have an aversion to water. By destroying that dam, the temple will be filled with a runoff. Flooding him out, huh? Good plan. But I don't think your bombs are strong enough to do the job. You're correct. Yeah, that. Before yeah, we did have a weird second melon because of the office, small guard. That a new autopilot so it is understandable that it could have gotten. Arrived. It's sitting inside this room. Weird. Stay sharp. That dam is sure to be well protected. I haven't stolen anything yet. <clears throat> Comparison will probably get really, really messed up here. So we'll switch to the to this comparison for a bit. You're near the spice grinding facility. However, the passage is blocked by those laser fences. Hmm. Looks like they're using TNT to create these catacombs. Maybe I can borrow some to destroy the fences. 
You're the demolitions expert. How am I supposed to use that stuff? Oh, it's simple. Just jump in, lock the barrel to your target, jump out, and get clear of the blast radius. I'd be careful around floor lasers, Sly. The TNT barrels won't work on them. Precision guns, make sure all laser fences are operational to protect the spice grinder. The cycles are different here, oh my god. range of the spice grinder. What's next? Rajat won't come out of hiding while spice is still being manufactured. If we destroy the grinder, he'll be out of business and have no reason to stick around the temple. Great. We do the world a favor. It's our first confrontation with cycles of the run, I think. By getting a hold of that At least PNC ones that were there. really noticeable. It's worth mentioning that guards won't be able to detect you if you stay still while in the TNT barrel. Nice. An explosive disguise. Place the explosive near that grinding wheel, and it'll be blown to bits. Goodness, he died. We got the running guard. to that basin filled with spice dust. What's going on down there? It looks like spice production has fallen behind. Wait, it's completely stopped. I haven't stolen anything yet. Uh, yes, I have played Sims. Uh, I played a lot of Sims 4. With my friend, we went through a phase where we really liked that game. Um... Super. We meet again. Constable Neela. Thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. I don't know. I'm thanking you. I got kind of sick of it. Lita's face was priceless. She took it hard, huh? It's probably a game I could get back, back into at some point, though. Oh, I certainly do. Similar to Minecraft, where it's like really fun for a while, and then don't touch it for a long time. I'll keep in mind, but first the task at hand. I've learned of a secret entrance leading to half of the Clockwork Heart. Legally, I can't enter the premises. Uh, this run's been a weird roller coaster. It was really good until the end of EP2. I missed, uh, Boardroom Brawl CSS. In the bad way. Once. And then I missed, uh, EP2 Op CSS.
And remember, if push comes to shove, I never showed you this door. And... And... And we're on for that date in Bollywood. <laughs> Yeah, I've Just heard like about this new said. big Minecraft update, but I'm not super familiar with what's in it. Access to that control box, but it's locked out tight. Oh, I'm sure these guards won't mind if I borrow their keys. Ghost capture. Ghost capture, you'd have to do. I feel like. Wait. No. Never mind. I think it does keep your ghost count. Hello, Gandhi. Are there any other jobs the like spice grinder? Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its mooring, you might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. That are as hard as spice grinder or like as possible to die? No. Uh bear cave bugging. That's a that's a big one, actually. Bear cave bugging doesn't have any checkpoints. If you die on the, way. on the way to the sixth bear thingy, uh, <laughs> I hit X like eight times. Um, if you die on the way to the last one, you have to do all of them over again. is near flawless. I recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. There's a checkpoint in this job. Uh... Is it just those two then? Oh. EP4 op hacking section. There are no checkpoints. If you 
die to the laser jumping to the final hack you have to do all of them again this is a true Indian treasure we will honor the bargain and provide a cherry bomb 500 at the time the turtle requested I haven't stolen anything yet We should be able to switch back. Yeah. The route changes are over for now. Try to pry open the elephant's mouth for slot. See ya, Turk. Thank you for the good luck. Clear out those guards before you take a crack at opening the mouth. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be cool if that was true, Gandy. Yes, the Murray's might and muscle triumphs again. The mouth is open. You're all clear to bring in the cherry bomb 500. Well, I mean, the Korean game works exactly the same as this game. There's nothing different other than the dialogue and the text, but that applies to every language. Um, but no, most of the languages are the same speed. The reasoning for that is because the languages that are faster wait to fill the time reserved for the English version. So let's say in Italian or something, they just belt out a sentence, right? And they're completely done. They'll sit there and wait for two seconds of silence until the English version of Bentley would be done talking and then Sly will talk. So nothing's clipped, like nothing's trimmed to fit the language. The reason Korean um, and Japanese are different is because they were handled independently. There was a there was a team of people doing just the Korean dub on their own. And they trimmed the dialogue. Or like the game to fit the Korean dialogue. Whereas the other dubs would have just been handled all together. Yes, you do seem to have quite a talent for Like they were just preparing like the PAL dubs, for example. I would assume. He should be brought to justice. And I assume it is it's way easier to just have everything down, fit the, the length of the English dub. 
than to actually like recut everything like they did with Korean. Yeah, I guess the circ yeah, the circle thing is a good point, yeah. This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours. The Murray will renew your fear. Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling. I might be big and not as smart as the other guys, but one thing I'm not is weak. <laughs> Could have been damageless, but Murray's auto targeting screwed me on one. Happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder! Sly's hurt real bad! Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt! Here we are, Contessa. Just as I promised. The Cooper gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent. Yeah, it's gotten warmer in here, thankfully, Misu, over the last Karma two hours. Has never been able to catch the Cooper gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. So I'm not shivering I'm anymore like I was in EP1. Except your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! Photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night. That sounds horrific, Mavi. Did you have? I didn't know I was dancing with I mean, that Cooper. sounds like dangerous. Seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela. Don't think <laughs> I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes, indeed. Can't believe it. Double-crossing, cockney, liar! Run to the bathroom. Enjoy the cutscene. You guys can understand it this time. It took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends, locked away in the mysterious towers of Prague. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived, as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. 
The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's Good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes and I'll be out two best friends. Hello. Good night, Yamada. I haven't stolen anything. I should yet. make my way over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and I missed. Tessa is out making her rounds. Wait a second. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sound. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great. If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. is falling apart. Spice shipments have almost stopped. Blah. I never would have joined if I'd known it would mean this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah well, there she is my way soon enough. Those fools are Interpol. They keep sending me criminals, and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. Yeah, the Contessa is not a nice person. If only I had more spice to help me with a hypnosis. Or spider. That blasted Cooper gang. The fat one. What's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. That's Sly Cooper. Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there. I think this is the last cutscene. I think the sly one is the last one. All have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in, and I'll get to work on his mind. Inconceivable! She's no healthcare professional. Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of. Putting inmates into hypnosis. So they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot. It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time. I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without 
question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. Ah, nothing like a good computer hack job. Now, the left analog stick should control my cyber avatar. Both analog sticks at the same time, I'll be able to move and shoot in different directions. That's one down. The train should be picking up speed. I'm not sure, Gandhi. Should speed up the train by at least fifty percent. Yeah, the train does continue when Bentley's in a hack. Alright, see ya, Adam. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the good luck. the field's polarity the train continues <clears throat> when Bentley's in a hack and it spins around when he finishes a hack and if it spins around near Bentley it will kill him so uh, this is a job where you have to be very mindful of where the train will be based on how you've played in the hack and out of it Trajectory. Oh, my. I haven't stolen anything yet. along the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. See you, Cass. Why can you read me? How I've missed that sensuous <laughs> voice of Is it yours. fixed now? Is it blowing air properly? Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Is it a ceiling fan that absolutely like fucking cooks it around? Or is it like nice and steady? We'll rendezvous there. Wow. Is there risk of your ceiling lifting off the ground? Yeah, you do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, 
You know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? Truer words were never said, wizard. Did I Komodo pause today? I did for a bit. I had to wait for a Windows update before I could stream. Does that count? Pretty good. Nice work, partner. I haven't stolen anything yet. Okay, Sly, that's it. The Contessa's giant attack robot. Look, Bentley, with all due respect, it looks an awful lot like a water tower. She wants you to think. If we try to free Murray while that thing is operational, why? Yeah, I just took a we'll have sip of water. Of still drinking water. I'm serious, Sly. Of course, I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower and giant attack robot. Uh, yeah. By turning the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire. Uh, I had to do woodwork one year. So you want me to break the ground in high school? Me soon. 
so that a bolt will strike and destroy I I made a, a giant clock. attack robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. Well, I didn't make the actual clock. I made, like, the wood thing that the clock sits in. Nice work. That lightning rod Thank you, Riley. Look around for lightning strikes to find the other rod. So far, I've learned... Hello. Just got some practice in when you joined. Hi, Ginga. Thank you. I haven't stolen anything yet. Get at Murray, I'll need you to steal two tank keys and the tank patrol schedule off of the Contessa. No problem. I'm an old hand at pickpocketing. This is going to be tougher than you think. The Contessa's no fool. Since your escape, she never goes anywhere without bodyguards. You'll have to take them out one by one in order to get close to her. Should probably use noise to lure them away from the Contessa. Oh no, really? Oh, I'm refing. Which means I, uh, I'm the referee. But, uh, it's going well. My legs hurt from getting used to skating again, but. Good night, Genga. Thank you for the good luck. The that, good night, Riley. Um, yeah, I do still. Sauna thermometer. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. What's special about a sauna from thermometer? It feels covered in spice. I'm feeling kind of <clears throat> strange. You gotta get me out of here. No problem. Bentley seems to have found a weakness in the solitary confinement cell. 
If you can get in a big enough really place, still the guards will throw you in there. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Well, if you say so, I suppose. Are you not liking the IT stuff? Like the Murray could take down fifty foes. If I had to. You beat the snot out of 50 of those guys, and Bentley and I will take care of the rest. our coin count kind of low should be fine the start of that was real oh, this is still bad actually because this guy didn't die Incarcerating suckers. Is that anti-social enough for you? Oh, what? Nice. You throw me in solitary. Bring it on. Yeah. So specifically, what I went to school for, and well, am going to school for, is. Uh, for writing uh, narrative filmmaking, writing for narrative filmmaking, um, I have taken some editing classes as part of that being like required, but it's not specifically what I'm into. Sounds like a plan. What do you need me for? As you know, the bridge is heavily guarded. I hear you. You'd like a little protection while you place the bombs. That's correct. I'd love to help out, but there's nowhere to hide on the bridge. It is an area that has a lot of uh, opportunity, guards, though. You'll need to break those statues and take their place. I pose like a statue. The guards walk on by, then pow! I hit them from behind. You're a genius. That's also correct. <laughs> to the top of the bridge. Alright, we need 53 coins. Before we get to Tank Showdown. Got another one in place. Heading back across the bridge. Set. 
Yeah, final cut. Final cut is nice. Um, I've never used it for school though. I haven't used that since high school. Uh, I don't know what Chimpy has been using for school stuff. I've only worked on Premiere since I started school, but I don't do a lot of editing. I'm heading out for the tank. My crossbow is made out of air. I'm inside the tank, increasing the ride height on the tread. There, that should give you enough room. Sour candies? Um, I like some sour stuff. Very much depends on my mood, though. I definitely would. I definitely desire sweet things more often than sour things. And there needs to be some kind of balance, also. Because things that are just. Incredibly sour are just center. gross to me. To honest, I feel the same way about I'm spicy sure food. Like if something's just super spicy. Thinking of my feet is what I do best. And that's like the only draw of it. I'm not into it. Most of the security went down when we cut the power on the bridge. And uh, no, still I haven't heard of either of those. Generator. Be careful. <laughs> hitting circle it doesn't work I'm running your algorithmic code decryptor y you see anything happening down there What's this? we've got access to solitary confinement Hard stuff I'm heading down <laughs> Never seen Murray like this. He's all twitchy and bug-eyed. You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yeah, he said he was feeling weird. He's weirded out, all right. I doubt he even knows we're here. Clearly, we're going to have to lure him out of that cell the hard way. The hard way? Hypno boxes are designed to heighten the effects of spice, and he's already in an agitated state. So if we turn them all on at the same time, Murray's sure to become wildly hostile and probably break down the door. How do we turn on the hypno boxes? The power switches are all defended by laser barriers. When you get close, I'll hack the laser system from my terminal down here. That's are you moving at all, Mavi? 
do it. Anything to help out old Murray. He's looking really bad. <laughs> you can't move at all after you finish the hack. Okay, I'm hacking the laser barrier. to turn on the hypno box. No, because the... Like, you have... It'll be easier if I... Uh, no, it's kind of scary to explain it while I'm doing it. But you basically, you enter that the lock, and you don't move at all. You just let the thing bounce back. Fuck. You let the... The laser wall. The drone thing bounce back after it hits the lock in the way that it does where it kind of slides out and it sits there right and you just leave it Like that. All clear. So I entered the lock and then I took my hand completely off the controller. And if I don't get hit by a bullet, then I missed it. And that sucks. But if I were to move into a bullet just to make myself die, it would ruin the skip anyway. What they used to do, the terminal skip used to be thought to be way harder than it was. Because they thought that you had to move into it, or that you could move into it. So the window, you can move into it and hit it, it's just the timing is incredibly tight. Because then you'd have to uh, do it like immediately after entering. But if you don't move at all, there's you have a few seconds. My head! Who? What? Is this heaven? Sorry, pal. You're no angel. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center Sounds your Sounds good, thoughts. Misa. Okay. What's with all the racket? My conscious mind is a wreck. I ought to... The weak-minded hippo is free! And he's got friends! Hmm. Perhaps it's time to reevaluate some life choices. I'm serious. I managed to keep this half of the clock. Yeah, and seat. another thing, Mavi, I, I've never, from the I've never heard anybody but away. Augie say this. Augie's not the crank bars so we can chase after her. The best source, <laughs> but uh, I'm on it. there's no reason to move anyway. But in the final hack, like the one you skip, or you're sitting there and then it skips, uh, I would recommend not moving there either. And that's just because Augie has said that it can break it. I don't know if that's true. I'm not knowledgeable enough to confirm or deny that. But I, I had never moved there. No good head shrinker. Oh come now, Mari. We were making such After a couple seconds you can tell if you if you hit it or not. Help that I need well one okay so one thing about knowing whether or not you hit the again. terminal skip or not is there is a lock sound which if will play angry, why not be after you die if you did the skip correctly so, so there have been times where I've done it at like the last like the absolute now last moment and it will the game will go back to the cutscene and then I will hear the lock sound and I'll know that it worked. Um, but if you don't hear that sound, then I assume 
it means you missed it. I wish I could help more precisely, but... Um, I don't have a great memory of what it looks, what it, how it functions when you miss it. I haven't stolen anything yet. Ah, she's getting away. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. With the three of us back together, she can you recite the Pledge of chance. Allegiance for the fans? Definitely not. I sat during the Pledge of Allegiance in school. I don't believe that the pledge of what is in the pledge of, pledge of allegiance is um, what the country actually believes in. Time Why is it not going down? I don't know. The Contessa, having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her castle estate. It's we a had well a route change, so nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. Oh, I know Terrible why. Or not, that's where we're headed. It's because we have two splits missing. Deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until so, recently was a secret member once of the we get past gang, Mojo Trap, of the it will update. Because at the moment, the I can't the have a sum of best because it doesn't have all the splits. In tracks, transfixed in their gaze. Because there's two splits it which are blank. It genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with because such of route powerful changes. artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. Yeah, that is, that is not gonna work. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to this act English now isn't, uh, before things thing go anywhere. from bad on speedrun. to worse. Yeah, it's not. Um, you can find English runs by filtering by region and doing either PAL or NTSC U. Um, and those will be either English or another European language. Like I'm sure there are some in Finnish. Uh, English 100%. Unless Jake has done a run, it would be Guinness. And I don't think Jake has done an English Hundo run. Guinness had it the last time I... I saw one. It'll take some doing to drive her out. This cycle is awful on English. Kind of forgot about it. Or I would have try harded more. So, there's no difference in gameplay uh, between the languages in this game. So, I would recommend just looking at Jake's record in Korean. Then you can add five minutes. If you want to think about it from an English perspective. I think I'm happy with the 49 QDF. I 
I've read your psychological profile. This game is exhausting to grind, Why and although I You're honest. would love you to try to compete for record, I you learn too much about the claw gang and I'm more likely to just get burnt out and it hate the game again. It time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Mila gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward. You're a disgrace to Interpol. I'll make it my life's work to destroy you. Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your no, life's everything's work, the same isn't still. going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into Enjoy this the device, lyrics, CJ. your life's work will be whatever I tell you. I won't be brainwashed that easily. That's right. It won't be easy or painless. But I will reprogram your mind, and you will take the fall for me at Interpol. Now. Just lay back and relax. Go to your happy place. And stay there forever. I don't think they've seen you. Take a few photos and get out of there. Oh, I've got to help Carmelita. She's in trouble here. There's nothing you can do now. Get the recon photos and come back to the safe house. I swear, we'll find a way to help. Interesting. Inspector Fox is restrained in an old Iron Tech 250. Crude, but effective. Clockwork eyes. They seem to be routed through that. Any plans for Sly 1? I always think Every about Sly 1 whenever I'm so trying to think of what to play. But, I don't know, I, I don't like the game, the so it's kind of hard. Shadow Guard. Tough is too sissy a word to describe those guys. That's, that's yeah, just wait, Mavi, until we finish this split, because I, I sound locked here in PV. It's made of equal parts science and black magic. Indestructible to conventional weapons. That old terminal should be hardwired to the systems in this tower. We need to find a way to get it online. All right. Head back to the safe house and we'll get a plan together. Swap the treasures. And we're good on coins for the run. I'd tell you to not be scared about it, but I've never had a PB with it done properly, so maybe you should be, Kappa. <laughs> this is going to be the first one. We are going to do it right. Oh my god. This job is more relaxing in English. That's nice. This tank is just in front of us, instead of shooting us in the back. Well, well, General Clawfoot. We've got a lot to talk about. 
You wouldn't by chance know the security code to the castle gates, hmm? Don't feel like talking, huh? How about a little of this? Talk, <laughs> you scoundrel! Alright, good night, Misu. Enjoy your lurk. Thank you for the good luck. I haven't stolen anything yet. What is this guard? So, I think because we got the animation, we're going to be on the ground. Is that how it works? I think that's how it works. Okay, I don't know where you're going with all of this, but we'll see. freeing trapped ghosts sounds vaguely heroic. No, I'm on the roof still. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can just try again, but... I don't know. I mean, the the smoke bomb route, like either early smoke bomb or super early smoke bomb with stealth slot and everything, doesn't save a lot of time. I haven't been on Twitch today, Steel, uh, in terms of, like, from a viewing perspective. I just set these guys free. So I don't know. Why would I want to capture them? I can't again? remember if I watched any streams yesterday. It's only a short term confinement. I don't think I did. The ghosts, then set them free down the chimney of Thela's headquarters. I'll get you. She'll think it's a sneak attack from the Contessa. Correct. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, Thela should respond to the assault by Remo's video says that Super Early Smoke Bomb saves 21 the seconds. Contessa is good for us. And we get to really uh, freak out Neela. He did have the concession that it that the stealth slide numbers were outdated. And that both early smoke bomb and super early smoke bomb probably save more than that. Uh, which I think is definitely true. But I have no idea by how much. Well, that was not intentional. That is very bad.
Upper Chimney. So the Contessa wants war, eh? Perhaps it's time I purchase a little air. That was power. pretty bad. A few bombers should put that old charlatan in her place. I haven't stolen anything yet. on everything. Doesn't seem too bad. I was frames away from it dying right there. That's it. I knew she'd have a bad mojo collector to The timer continues going when you enter the safe house. It's a semi magical device that wasn't actually frames, mojo. but it was probably a half second. I'll need it to gather max. the runoff from these spouts. Sounds easy. Not really. That mojo is a powerfully dark force. Take any damage while carrying that. Because first I stopped for safety for at the wow. spotlight. Yes, and then second, I got my stealth slide interrupted by challenge. the bridge becoming the ground. Perhaps I could use the death traps native to these crests. Which can happen if you I think if you hit it at a certain angle. To thwart my collection of the and it was the combination of those things that almost killed it. Once all four cylinders of the collection device are full, so Remo Remo has said that magic to destroy the in 2021 the uh, with Sly the treasure swap is free and I initially totally agreed but once I had done it a lot I started to see that certain scenarios where you know, things would be weird, or you get screwed over by tank cycles. There definitely is risk to it. Like, I became less confident in it as I did it more, because I saw the, the different weird ways in which it could be... very scary. In my first PB, when I, like, since coming back, um, which is the one where I lost a minute to the treasure swap, I, uh, there were two tanks in front of me, two tanks in front of me on the way back, so I went to the roof. I went to the roof to the left, and then was gonna square boost across to the safe house, and I missed the square goose, and so the treasure died. And then, I went back and got it again, uh, but I didn't have any stealth slide left, or much stealth slide left, and so it died again. It left Sly's back while he was, like, while the animation entering the safe house was ending. Uh, 
what what runner is it? But no, I don't think no, there isn't a way, really. I mean, there are ways, because there are some weird things that happen. Like there's a thing in Psy 3 where when you change languages, it'll only it'll only lag on certain consoles. So you can maybe use a combination between that and the reset times. But no, there isn't really a good way at all. Yes, Mavi, but visiting the safe house is not quick at all, so... I didn't think of that. Another chamber in my mojo collector is full. Moving on to the third crypt. No, it's no disturbance at all. There should be a new waypoint in your binocular. I know what models some runners have, if uh, you're wondering about a particular one, but... But yeah, there isn't a great way to check. Uh, so it doesn't matter. It matters a lot in terms of time at like a high level, but in, if you're trying to get into the game, I wouldn't worry about it at all. Honestly, I I ran on a slim for a really long time. I got a fat model when I was trying to get sub five. I had a five o. I had a 503, I think, on a slim. And then I got an L on accident. I tried to get, I tried to get a faster one, but the lady sent me an L, which is also slow. And I got a 501 on the L model. We're gonna wait. shouldn't worry about it at all if you're a beginner. You can still get top times even with a slim. Just makes it harder, obviously. You probably aren't even worried about that. The most important thing is just play the game and get better. That is where most time save anybody has comes from. Joe 
collector at full capacity, I should be able to blow the clockwork eyes off that mind shuffler. This is going to be great. I haven't stolen anything yet. Yep, Sly 4 is the only Sly game where model doesn't matter at all. Great game. Yeah, it is a big difference, but it's all it's all relative, right? Like the way the way you view the game in speedrunning, the way you view time save and how much things save, all of that, like it shifts so drastically as your times improve. So like Let's say you can save like two and a half minutes by switching consoles and like two and a half minutes to me when I started running would have sounded like nothing. But to me now, two and a half minutes is a huge amount of time. You know what I mean? So it's, it's important when you start to just play the game. Just let the other stuff come later. Yo, Neon, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, everybody. How'd the stream go? Hey, guys. I'm in attack. Remember, all six up to the floor. Cycle is different. No. It's kind of interesting that Murray's first thought was a, a T-Rex. Also, we are going to die. How many do we have left? Okay, we're actually fine. We're fine. Good to see you, little buddy. Murray, that should cool down those mercenaries for a while. Good as can be expected. Well, that almost sounds like a good thing. I am glad. Thank you, Sonic. Void 
died, thank goodness. I don't know why I only hit him once. Also, this guy's two clumps too. This is insane. What the fuck? Insane anymore. Damn. Pito sad. I know I missed the tank conversation, but I I did not like the tanks at all when I played casually. And they're still horrible to use. Men have already excavated Neela's satellite cable. How should I proceed? I missed it, Sonic. wasn't very close. I was several frames off, I think. I very much disagree. I haven't stolen anything yet. Mainly because Tank Showdown takes skill, and RC Combat Club doesn't take any. This is completely RNG. This is not true. Hack the computers down there when they've got no power. I'm not bad at it. Claw, but, uh, mobile energy sources stored at the it just doesn't take hallway. any skill. Always a pretty kind term for what looks to me like a complex medieval gauntlet of death. Yeah. Well, while the idea of jumping down a crypt filled with whirly, razor sharp spikes might scare me. In fact, terrorized by every fiber, it's the only way to power up that old computer at the re-education tower. Without that thing online, we'll never get at the clockwork eyes or free Carmelita. I have like a 240 as well with a treasure Just warp, sure I think. Those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. But I'm not going to put that on because it, it's kind of fake. Also, the cycles here are different. I don't know how to play this job. On English at all. I'm too scared. I'm going casually. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Just don't die. Just don't die. This 
acid battery should do the trick. Danish world record. Close to the electrode and voila! Prepare to be hacked, you knave. The EP7 warp is not uncycled because there are not, there's not a set of golds uh, for the treasure warp route that is better than the treasure route. I'll get you, Contessa. Oh, how many times must you say that? It's not going to happen. I'm dead serious. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. The splits required would be mean it. I'll get you. Uh, so RC good. Combat Club and Lighthouse Break In with the warp to go. has to be faster better not take any damage while carrying than battery to the other turbo. those two same splits is, without the warp. With acid. And they're currently not. Okay, ready for another session of hacking mastery. I don't really expect that one to change. Yes, the warp is faster. But... Um... It's just objectively faster. But Remo... Uh... Is the only... One who's really done it had like the potential to change the route I mean with golds hmm. maybe I should approach this I don't know if Jake is. was doing Instead it I think he was doing mind. it but in his PV he it didn't help to get around your super ego. I assume for safety because I remember checking Jake's PV to see what his uh, and I can times get were out like of here for the warp and stuff, but he didn't do it. I could have gone, I could have done the normal strat in this room, because it doesn't matter what the cycles are. Well, one thing about the reverse laser and bear cub order is that the community some of best is actually faster with the treasure route than the IE route. So that wouldn't even be So that wouldn't be relevant in the treasure warp thing. Why fight it? Don't you want to be my friend? No, you horrible eight-legged. Doing bear cub first saves two two and a half seconds or something like that. Computer powered up. My work here is done. Yeah, it's that's fair. I I never even bothered with it. Isn't it harder? Uh no. You mean, you mean doing bear cub first? The route is weird. I wouldn't really say it's harder. It's a lot harder to me, but that's just because I haven't done it nearly as much as the other one. So, I... Yeah, I, so I did, I did bear cub first in episode runs. While you do that, Bentley and I will climb our way up to the top of the And I struggled with it a lot, but it was just because of comfort. I hope that general guy told the truth, or this is gonna get ugly. Oh yeah! The lights are down, Bentley. Time to call in the cavalry. I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out. Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces! The castle the defense is on down! down. Yeah, I'm thinking about it right now. I don't think it's fair to say that it's it's harder. It's just very different. I don't 
don't want to drown. This could get rough. All right. Let's head for the re-education tower. Good night, QDF, if you're still here. I'm sorry I missed that. Uh, I sound locked and know your enemy and lost three minutes. The That's the big time save. The castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Now let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative. That Iron Tech 250 is a full What is it? All charms? System. There's one for you. I just came up with that. This, this very moment. All charms. Somebody run it. Kappa. Please don't. I don't want to see it submitted. <laughs> ah, I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up, and I mean all of them. My dear, you yeah, that that's <gasps> the, surprisingly Sonic. Shut that is a worse mind. idea than all charms. Here, you witch. That's impressive. Always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. All coins. Does that only apply to coins like that are spawned already? That would be a nightmare. Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, Taps. It's safely in hand. Mila? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, wouldn't she be enough for the old bird? Why are you running Hello? back the Hundo Quad? Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. Tomorrow, I'm going after Dirk. Mila. Tomorrow. But the plan! It, this wasn't in the plan! Yeah, she does. There's a Karm Aim emote that I don't have, but I know at least Neon has it. Where it's uh, Carmelita with a Stormtrooper helmet on. should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. Don't you dare! That eye is mine! It's mine! Uh, actually, Miss
Mr. Kugler. The eye belongs to me. Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp, turn, and stay sharp. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Heads up. I'm heading out for our rendezvous. Come back here, Contessa. That getaway blimp won't save you. Yeah, Sly 3 is fun casually. Good night, Sonic. Thank you. I want it back. No way. Do you think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. You'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short sighted fool. I had a period of, uh, of very high I'm activity lately. Above good and evil. Uh, but like you the last give the eye to someone that's above morality? couple of weeks at least, maybe months. It be just it's been pretty and quiet for speedrunning. But a couple months ago you probably would have seen a lot of people streaming it. <laughs> Well, I guess a couple months ago I was streaming Sly 3. Or at least a month and a half ago. Enough. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. I know enough not to let my guard down. Around an intellectually superior... Yeah, Sly 1 was my least favorite game casually. And that wasn't to say that I hated it, because I definitely didn't. She got the eye? Um. She's got the eye! How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelita took the eye, and she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks! Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. Grab the eye while Carmelita's still stuck in her tank. Then come around to pick up Bentley for a quick exit. Well, you can, Sly. We'll all hook up at the rendezvous for extraction. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. No way, she just fell off. I haven't stolen anything yet. 
got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. <laughs> so weird with it getting dark so early it's only 7 13 following the trail of spice shipments we made our way up to Nunavut Bay Canada the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire as a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Yeah, I'm getting a little tired, but I think the miraculously the quick freeze the kept brightness alive, of EP6 will wake me up. Later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time. He dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and Sly 3 has with split screen multiplayer. Of an axe. Um, in shipping spice for the claw gang, like a lucrative mini games, like side mini games isolated from the main story. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. Okay, cycles here are very different. Don't think we need to worry about the train. I do have my Korean PB. Let's check it. Four minutes and forty seconds behind. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now climbing up a sheer rock wall, that'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Desan took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. Jackpot, Sly. That's Sean Bisson. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his ship. Hey, I'm glad. I'm glad you, uh... On it. I'm glad you liked Ricky's video, and that it made you interested in the game. That's awesome. We've had uh, several new people run EP1 because of Ricky's video, <laughs> and a lot of people. Uh, who are new to like watching the game? It's very cool. Yeah, I played this game a lot as a kid. 
and uh, kept playing it as I got older, just less frequently. And then I found speedruns of it. Um, not this most recent summer, but the summer before. I lose in theater pickpocketing really hurt me. With all three blueprints, we should be able to isolate and track the iron horse trains through that satellite dish. Time for the mountain hunt. Shouldn't take long. Good to see you, little buddy. Yeah, this game is an enormous mental task to run. And today is more of like a a chill, chill English run for fun because I got a <clears throat> got a PB in Korean that I'm happy with. I generally consider a run loss when it's not realistic to PV anymore. Um, so, best possible time will show a fair amount, but you inevitably lose time to best possible time, even when you're playing really well. Unless your song best isn't very optimized. Um, See you, little buddy. So, hold on. Okay, slide. So I generally track like 35 to 40 seconds per episode in the best possible time, and if I'm at that point, and it's a lot above PB, then it's pretty dead, realistically. So my PB in Korean is 449.32. So at this point in the game, if I had a best possible time. You got a full tank of gas. Time to land on a above, like... It couldn't be much above 48. Like, 48 flat. At this point. Back to the ice plane. Two more cabooses to blow open. The amount of time you can expect to lose to best to some of best also can vary in the episode like like this episode episode six is pretty uh consistent but then ep8 is really really hard so you can expect to lose time there There are people who 
like don't give much weight to some of us at all or don't care but like I think it's a very healthy thing to to look at personally because you can go a month without PBing but you probably aren't going a month without golding so lowering your snow best can give you another number to feel happy about improving or motivated to improve very optimal I haven't stolen anything yet that's not optimal anymore Why do you GSM here? Uh, so, for lure 2, uh, you need a guard. And if you don't GSM properly, that getting that guard is basically just praying. But if you do the GSM right, it's 100% consistent. So I'm going to get a guard right there. Yep. Yeah, correct, Steel. Hey, criminal. You doing okay in there? I know it's tight, but you won't get shot <clears> hold <throat> still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. It won't be long now. Once I bust the other... Yeah, Mavi, this job's day, very hard. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? This was a pretty horrible one. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. You mean Captain Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. Hurry. I've come to break you out. <coughs> this thing is if you don't get it, it loses. It loses time. Come on. 
to just casually letting her walk. Um, I timed it pretty recently because Sonic asked how much it saved. I don't really remember, but it was it, it was in slide two. That healther doesn't do anything, but we'll take it. Can't run forever, coward. My keys. You're mine. Yo, Stevens, thank you for good luck. Charlie horse standing in that box. You use smoke, yeah, you use smoke by every 21 seconds, like Mavi said, but I don't count. That's weird. I personally don't. Um. I have... <clears throat> Fuck. I have a auto split picture for the keys with a pause time set up to 21 seconds. So I watch my auto split window and when the pause time ends I hit R2. Moving awfully fast. <clears throat> Jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. I try to stream in the afternoon for U.S. time. Um, I started working again recently, um, <clears throat> and so my streams have been infrequent, kind of. I'm not sure if I'll be doing any more full runs of this game. Standing. Chalk up one strange robot organ for us and one less But I'll definitely probably be doing some Chalk episode runs of it. Before I move on for now. <clears throat> I have Gandhi, you count out loud really loud. I went to bed at like one or two last night still. But then I just slept for 12 hours, which was really annoying actually. Because one of the, <clears throat> one of my favorite things about not having a horrible sleep schedule is that I'm actually awake during the day. Iron Horse number two. You and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done. Provided I can catch up with that train. 
So the fact that I didn't go to bed at 5, but I still woke up at 2, <laughs> it really annoys me. I was really exhausted after this weekend, though. Chopper with a new cannon. Let's see. The X button drops bombs and the square button shoots forward. You should bomb those missile launchers before things get ugly. Body clock is a mysterious thing. This job is very loud, I forgot about that. I haven't stolen anything yet. Thank you, Stevens. <clears throat> Again. For the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. Metal's too resilient for my bombs or your muscle. No, for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother or her child. Uh, yeah, I wish I could hit it, Steel. <clears throat> My summer best would be pretty beautiful. They'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squad. Before I move on, I would like to improve my summer best by two seconds. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence, no problem. It's at 4301 right now. Cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. <laughs> Thankfully, you can jump after doing a punch boost, which I didn't realize. I've died in that exact spot before in English runs.
the cutscene skip saves 37 seconds. And I, I'm referring to the original one, not not the new one that Ricky found. With Berserker Charge. I have no idea how long the cutscene is. Cycle is different there. The outer clockwork lug should be hooked into the engine's furnace. Sneak your way up there and grab it. You should have seen how many missile launchers there were attached to these train cars. I don't mind saying that it took some real finesse on my attention. stolen anything yet We've got a train to catch. Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. The Murray's strength knows no <laughs> limit. I shot Murray. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. Sun's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts and he walks away with the stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. Uh, creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique hand car at breakneck speeds. It's time for a train robbery. Enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. And little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I'm already lost. 
watch the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Koopa. Let's play. What in blazes? Right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. <laughs> Flying, little friend. Whatever you say, poodle. Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. And that's just what we'll do. A well-placed bomb down the train's smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Not so fast, chum. The clockwork part is mine. They will all be mine. No, the auto splitter. No, you won't stop me. Not the Cooper gang, not Interpol, not anyone. Sedge, clear fly. This might be a best. That's never happened to me before. stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. Yes, I do. Okay, now it is hot in my room. Completely switched around over the course of this run. Okay, so here's what we know. One, Arpeggio's blimp is on its way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blimp. But before we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off John Bassan. Time is short, we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. 
participation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cave. It can now separate into two smaller caves. It's a good idea, still. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. Good to see my cane upgrade perform so well in the field. Now scout the area. I could really I have never seen an eagle that far left. At least not as far as I remember. Those saw blades look particularly old. <clears throat> What do we think of this the Christmas people G by the way? His his notes say Santa. So I think he's supposed to be writing a letter to him. This place is bear country, alright. Interesting. Or maybe he is Santa and he's reading the letter. You're a fan of it? <clears throat> yeah, I like it. It must be piloted by computer. Okay, that should do it. Now for the real point. Just looking at that spinner makes me dizzy. Are you at work, Stevens? Battery charger, but where is the battery arpeggios coming to pick up? I was right. The entrance <clears throat> is barred from the inside. Might as well get a shot of old Jean Bisson. <laughs> Listen in. He's mumbling to himself. Jean, you got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. <laughs> Nice. It's a good phrase to have queued up. Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser is used to cut through petrified lava. He has a paraglider stuck in his face. Out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and <coughs> free the bug. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. <laughs> Laser's been redirected out the window. Now to get that laser pointed at the 
nice wall, you'll need to alter its direction with the crystals I put in your pouch. I just walked to where the laser stops. Place if the paraglider comes out at a certain time before the cutscene, that log chopping book is as good as you can get an outcome where you see nothing but blue. Like you can't see Sly at all. The cycle is different. so bad. Yes, unless something really, really, really bad happens. My PB is the English record. We're four and a half minutes out of that. We got the log chopping guide. Um, yeah, that jump takes, uh, some time to get a feel for. I was fine with missing it once. The time, the reason I missed it the second time was because I, I didn't set it up at all. <clears throat> I should have just ran back and approached it the way I always do. But I tried to totally rush it. You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. Sounds safe. Stay clear of the thin crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> What happens if you step in the ice? The bears wake up. <clears throat> Hold on. Testing. Okay, voice sounds good. Alright. So the bears wake up. In the context of a speed run, uh, they just wake up and they start moving around. But if you hit them, they go back to their spot. In a casual playthrough, you fail the job. But... Since we clipped the vent at the beginning, the game has disabled the fail thing because it thinks we're in the vent.
Really? Oh god. Unfortunate. Yeah. So if you uh if you hit a bear, he'll go back to his place. But he can immediately be like reawoken or like realerted by his friends. So if you alert like multiple bears, it can get really bad. Cuz they'll just sit there roaring and even if you hit some of them, they'll just get realerted by the other one. I forgot about the Murray part. Why, if you can get the stuff to Moosehead without being detected, Murray should be able to join the RC combat. I even hit L1 to stealth slide. Murray, heads up. Let's get the moose head as Murray. <clears throat> It'd be cool if you could. Like, I mean, you can, but the game doesn't want you. I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I lose to a new guy like you, huh? Yeah. I think I've gone up there once as Murray, messing around. But this is not the job that I mess around in very often. Yeah, I don't know, Gandy. I think it's fair to hate this job if you see what's happening on my screen right now. He's still not dead, by the way. He's still not dead. Oh, he got ammo. We survived. But I ain't got no money. Be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh well, I guess I owe ya. <laughs> yeah, true. <clears throat> we all ask this. <laughs> Did they bites? I didn't even notice. If we're gonna get an eagle egg, you'll first have to destroy all the local oil mains. It looks pretty sturdy. The Murray is strong, but his fists can't punch through metal. No problem. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. Use Grizzleface to take out the oil mains. But I don't smell like fish. Do I? How can I lure him around? Bentley's taken up a post along the river. 
so I forgot about this, but I punched into the trigger, which you should not do, because you can see, if you saw that red spot, that's Murray's glove, so this he'll still be punching when the cutscene's over. That. I think there it didn't really matter, but... But I'm unsure if it saves any time to punch there. Grizzleface has caught the scent. He's coming. Yo, Aslov, thank you. And thank you. Sensors in the safe house indicate that Grizzleface is on the move. Good, Stevens. Thank you. Or the silo battery will continue to fill with energy, making it impossible for us to stow away inside. So you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. See you on the ground floor. Let me at that Northern Light Attractor. It'll be slag in minutes. Not quite that simple, Murray. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control... Up, down, up, down. They should put an elevator in this place. <laughs> scary fine now the collection mechanism is overloading does your phone do this because you like say it often So it just auto fills it. In order to overcome Jean Bisson in the lumberjack <laughs> game, we 
They'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagle. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Steal one of the eggs, and then bring it safely back to the safe house. We'll use it to direct the eagle's protective instincts against... Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go easy and enough. hit him. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. It's honestly nice that that guard is always there, because it would be a lot worse if he was only sometimes there. I see. The updraft created by the flame should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close, that old grizzle face will be eating barbecued raccoons for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. I haven't stolen anything yet. If we can trust Murray's informant, that's the silo with the battery hidden inside. Enjoy work, For Stevens. Travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay. I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first lines attach, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. I'm all set to throw you to that boat. These days my aim is impeccable. Now to hack the steering controls. His aim is impeccable these days. The boat's heading into position. I'm already on top of the silo. Shoot the grappling hook up to me, and I'll make sure it gets attached to the battery. The hook's in place. You guys should head out for another boat before anyone picks up on what we're doing.
it's ironic because I think the Murray throwing is the actual single worst design thing in this entire game. It's impossible to try to do that accurately. It's a lot better in this job, but it's because you have very large targets to aim at. Like in the EP1 operation, um, where you th are supposed to throw Bentley up to the water tower. I was messing around with like casually doing it a couple weeks ago. And I, I don't think I ever got it. I gave up. Second hook's in place. One more grapple line to go, and this thing will be on empty. I was wondering what happened to that guy. Guess he just prefers to be frozen. I think I'm just bad. True. It's a fine idea, I just, I mean, at least in the water tower part, it's just really bad. But I think it's a fun idea for Bentley to jump in Murray's arms and have him just <laughs> toss him to wherever he needs to go. chamber empty we'll be all set to move in I haven't stolen anything yet Yeah, I should check a casual playthrough and see if they miss at the water tower like a million times. Okay, guys, let's head down there and win those talons from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. Me, sir. Excuse we me, sir. Lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let him try. Oh no. Please. <laughs> I was actually expecting better from a big fella like you. Not bad, hippo. But what? 
watch and learn as I, destroy I failed on purpose because once you mess up one you have to fail but it doesn't immediately fail okay, ben, you're on plant the eagle egg on Basan and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing one two swing To prove a point. No. I had the eyes open. I was just stupid. I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you Yes, this, well, it's shorter in Korean, but yeah, it is twelve minutes long in English, yeah. No, your pink friend knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. I don't know how long it would be in English played perfectly. But it's like 11 and a half or around there. Maybe a little below 11 and a half. If it was perfect. In Korean. You have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? There's a lot of dialogue in this job, though. I see we're tied with only one event to go. It's probably the split with the biggest difference between, lang between language, I would assume. Spinning log competition. Looks easy enough. I just need to stay out. Of Let's the imagine way. every single one of these voice lines being shorter. need to go okay I'm just making this up on the fly but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave once inside you two will knock them out and take their clothes Genius. And when genius. all three judges have been restrained we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges table Mike, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave that's a great plan sly but you'll have to move fast. Once John Visson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up.
Now time for a very long cutscene. The longest in the game. What? I thought I warned you judges about the consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a sec. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the talent, then why don't you just take them? Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisan must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw him Just dropped down my glasses and had to come all pick them up. The clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer forms. It was a very good excuse. I don't know stupid to know a how Jamison didn't fall shot. for it. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Fly on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Bison. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Which lever I should pull. Blades! Blades! There you go. Blades! Blades! Go! 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 Come on in here, boys. Square! Let's get this varmint. I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over brawn. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Bisson. Arpeggio's uh, carrier. Enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. 
If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! <coughs> Take a leg, that blimp's on its way! Did they offer Jami san money? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they would have as much money as Arpeggio does. Bones are good. I'm just tired. Almost an EP8 moment right there. scuffed but it worked I'm sensing radioactivity from HD what time is it there I wouldn't get too close it's bad oh no we still might have a chance these magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. But I'm detecting voices from the front of the blimp. I think it's Arpeggio. Zila? Zila's here too! There he is. The mastermind behind this blimp and the source of all our problems. I can't believe it! She must have been working with 
decks are spinning slower, get up there and reverse the polarity of each deck. Thanks for sharing, Steel. Do I like tacos? I do. hitting circle. That's one of the engines that needs to be disabled. I won't lie to you, I like them. This is going to be a tough job well, that requires I don't really know. It depends on the place. Like at Taco Bell. First I'll need to hack the station's controlling access to the engine room. I would get a soft taco, but at home, I like hard shell. And my name is Beaver, um, and it's spelled like that specifically. Uh, because when I was in middle school, uh, my friends would call me, uh, it wasn't like a name, they would like actually call me, but they would call me, uh, Beaver Boy sometimes, because I had this like, uh, thick brown hair. Like chocolate brown hair and uh, I don't remember if my teeth had anything to do with it but they might have I got my front two teeth knocked out by a hockey stick in ninth grade and I don't remember what my teeth before that looked like so maybe it was something to do with my teeth too uh, And then, <clears throat> I, I liked beavers, uh, and I liked the, like, beaver nickname in, uh, for the like, on gaming accounts. And before Sly, I played Fortnite competitively, and Cloaksy had this, uh, Company. Had a name on Epic Games. He changed his name to uh, like Cloaksy without any of the vowels. So C L K Z Y. I thought that looked really clean. So I took Beaver and removed the vowels, and that was B V R. And then that that was it. 
Before that, I didn't really have a name that I liked. For, uh... Like, different gaming accounts. Like, I went through a bunch of them. Once I came up with that one, I liked it. Yeah, I like it a lot. It looks like I'm gonna need some help getting into that engine room. Well, I was about to say I've never done a thunder flop, but I might have onto a bed at some point. But I did not yell thunder flop before it, so I don't think it counted. Do you still have brown hair? I do. I do have brown hair. I might have pizza rolls for dinner bites. Either pizza rolls or a normal pizza. I am playing on a PS3, specifically a fat CCHG model PS3 with an SSD. Disable that engine room. You and I are going to have to work. Good night, Mavi. Thank you for the good luck. Along, Bentley. What do you need me to do? You should take your position. It's not going to take me long to lighten these guys with their keys.
you're on. I haven't stolen anything yet. Why is there a guard there? That specific guard, I think, is the one that's usually like on the opposite ramp from what you walk on. He just was really, really far along.
time anyone puts that engine to use. Chicken popcorn things, but it's filled with mac and cheese and bacon. Interesting. That sounds like it could be really gross or really good. Okay, Sly. We need to send Carmelita a radio pulse so she can home in on the blimp. To do that, I'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers. They are too big to I know that message was a long a while ago, but I couldn't normal. read chat. Basically, the whole got to do with this thing charge CNT run. Mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump. So be careful. All right. Sounds like fun. stolen anything yet Chit chat. Terrific shooting. Pretty decent. Not amazing, but decent. I don't know what uh, a good time would be here in English.
We did it! Yay! Don't worry! There's plenty to go around! You might have a new body, Mila, but you're still the low-down, backstabbing coward we've beaten time and time again. This won't be any different. Brave while you can, Cooper. I might not have the immortality you want of your hate, but I feel some some power growing within me. We did it. <laughs> You're right, Sly. He knows. Watch out. That thing's still kicking. Twenty nineteen. Where were you a year ago? She might stop attacking. Where were you in in February of this year? Cycles here are different. What a cool looking time. What are the odds we end up with such a cool looking time? Thank you guys for the GG's. Long overdue, but it happened. <laughs>